Okay, we are reading um, The Seed by Carolyn Hun. Long, long ago in China, there lived a wise emperor whose once dark braid had turned the color of new fallen snow. He was old, and it was time for him to choose a successor. Although he had many sons and grandsons to choose from, the emperor felt that power and wealth had made his heirs lazy. He wanted to appoint someone outside the family. Loud drums called a gathering of young men to the temple at the top of the mountain. When they arrived, the emperor, seated on a magnificent throne, announced, It is time to choose the next emperor. The shocked townsmen whispered among themselves, Nothing like this has ever happened before. The emperor continued, Today, each of you will take a seed. In one year, you will bring your seed to the temple. A golden bowl filled with seeds was set before the crowd. Each person took just one seed. A young man named Chun was last in line. He chose his seed carefully. Holding it tightly in his fist, he ran home to tell his mother. She listened to the story and gave him a beautiful blue and white porcelain bowl. Chun placed pebbles and then soil in the bowl and tenderly planted his seed. Each day, Chun carefully watered the seed. He watched, he waited, but nothing happened. The others talked about their plants that were pushing up through the soil. Weeks passed and still nothing. Something's wrong, Chun thought, but he did not give up and kept watering his seed. Other men in the village were transplanting their original plants into bigger containers. Chun thought he must have done something wrong. He prayed at the temple for a miracle. Six months went by and still nothing grew in his blue and white bowl. Could I have killed my seed with too much water, he wondered. All around the village, there were containers filled with wonderful-looking plants, but Chen's seed had not yet sprouted. The one-year mark arrived, and it was time to carry the plants up the mountain to the temple. I'm not taking my empty bowl to the temple, Chen said to his mother. You must go, she encouraged. You have done your best and must keep your promise. Although Chun felt sad and a little embarrassed, he carried his empty bowl up the steep stone steps that led to the temple. When he arrived at the top, there were so many plants that it was easy to hide his empty bowl among them. These are the most beautiful plants I've ever seen, exclaimed the emperor as he sat on his throne. <clears throat> As he stood up and walked around, he noticed the empty blue and white porcelain bowl behind a big plant. What's this? he questioned, holding the bowl in his hands. Chun tried to hide, but those near him laughed and pushed him forward. What is your name? the emperor asked. My name is Chun, he whispered without looking up. Why did you bring me an empty bowl? he questioned. My seed didn't grow, Chun replied. I failed. You did not fail, the emperor said. Last year, I passed out seeds and told you all to plant them. But the seeds I gave you had been boiled. None of them could have possibly grown. He raised his voice and spoke to the crowd. When you found out that your seeds would not sprout, you substituted other seeds. Only one person had enough honesty and courage to bring me the original seed. That is why Chun will be the next emperor. Number one, based on the folk tale, what, why does a year most likely have to pass before a new emperor is chosen? A, the emperor wants to teach someone to be his, the ruler. B, the emperor wants to be sure the new ruler is honest. C, the emperor wants to rule the townspeople for another year. Or D, the emperor wants to give his family a chance to rule the land.
It is B. The emperor wants to be sure the new ruler is honest. Two, in the folktale, which event happens after Chun receives his seed from the emperor? A. Loud drums call the townsmen to the temple. B. Chun goes to the back of the line at the temple. C. Chun receives a special porcelain bowl from his mother. Or D. The emperor decides to choose an emperor from outside his family. It is C. Um, Chun receives a special porcelain bowl from his mother. Um, if you remember, the loud drums came before he received his seed. Chun goes back to the back of the line before he reads his seed. And the emperor decided to choose an emperor from outside the family before Chun received his seed. So the only answer that happened after Chun received his seed was his mama gave him a special porcelain bowl. In paragraph 18, Chun whispers and will not look at the emperor. What does this show about Chun? So going back to 18, it says, My name is Chun, he whispered without looking up. Let's see here. So, is he A, is he ashamed of himself? B, he does not trust the emperor? C, he is afraid he will be punished? Or D, he does not want to become emperor. Okay, it is A, he is ashamed of himself. Um, I kind of struggled. I thought it could either be A or C. Um, but looking back at um, the story, there is nothing in there that says that he is afraid or that they will be punished if they did not have a seed that did not grow. So... <clears throat> He did say that he did not want to take the seed to the emperor, so he is embarrassed. Four, based on the folktale, what lesson does Chen learn from the emperor? A, always listen to your parents. B, continue trying until you succeed. C, patience helps you reach your goals. Or D, it is always best for you to be truthful. And for this folktale, it is D, it is always best to be truthful. Um, on five, according to the folktale, explain how the emperor chooses the next emperor. Support your answer with important details from the folktale. Um, you were to read the question carefully, explain your answer, add supporting details, and then double check your work. You will be turning this in along with your um, other answers on a piece of paper and turning that in at the end of this passage. Okay, have a great day.